When you think of drought, you probably think of a place that looks like this, a dry, arid desert with few signs of life. But in reality, almost a third of all people suffering from water scarcity live in a place like this. 97% of the water on our planet is locked away in the oceans, and without access to desalination, that water might as well be sand. Unfortunately, today's desalination requires massive amounts of energy. Power in island communities is both expensive and polluting. Many places burn fuel oil brought in on ships. The need for so much power and the cost of it makes desalination incredibly expensive. The challenges of generating power in more isolated coastal communities means that many places lack access to reliable power. Collecting rainwater is a great option, but in the dry season, no power means no water. To solve these issues, we've created SAROS, a wave-powered desalination system which uses the staggering amount of energy found in waves to access the almost limitless supply of water found in our oceans. We are completely removing the dependency on electricity and fossil fuels to create one of the first environmentally conscious forms of desalination, allowing us to bring affordable fresh water to people in coastal areas all around the world. I've always loved the ocean. Being able to spend time in the water has given me an appreciation for the power of the ocean and the importance of protecting it for future generations. Since I was a kid, I've always loved designing and building things that solve problems, and working with Saros has allowed me to combine my passion for the sea with my love for just building cool stuff. I think we have the chance to do something here that has a real impact, both on the environment and people's lives. I've always had an appreciation for the sources of power found in nature, and being connected to nature is a really big part of my life. It's really great to work on a project that uses one of those sources of power to really make an impact in the world. SARS began as our senior design project while at the University of North Carolina at Charlotte. We knew from the beginning that we wanted this to be more than just a project. We wanted this to be something real. We began researching the need for water around the world and asking ourselves who could use something like this. What we found was this huge collection of people that have been largely ignored until now. It's a significant challenge to get water to these coastal areas, particularly small islands. It's easy to picture luxurious resorts and yachts in places like the Caribbean, but there's a lot of isolated areas too, and it's not as simple as digging well, and traditional desal plants just don't make sense. Now with SARS, that's all changed. Soon we're going to be working with nonprofits, disaster relief organizations, aid organizations, and even private individuals and companies to bring a simple, robust, and inexpensive form of desalination to areas all around the world. We're already lining up projects in Haiti and Puerto Rico, and these are places that really need water. And it works. Our prototypes have proven that we can successfully make water using only the power of ocean waves. And we can do so in a way that's simple and cost effective. 